After four long, tense days, we've reached a historic moment in this election. We can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States, winning the White House and denying President Trump a second term. We're able to make this projection because CNN projects Biden wins Pennsylvania. The former vice president in his third run for the highest office, pulling off a rare defeat of a sitting commander in chief. With this victory, Kamala Harris is set to become the first woman and the first person of color to be the vice president. Again, CNN projects Joe Biden will become the 46th president of the United States. And Jake, he is now president-elect Joe Biden. And this is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell at CBS News, and we are coming on the air with breaking news at this hour. CBS News projects that Joe Biden has been elected the 46th president of the United States. The kid from Scranton becomes the next leader of the free world. The 77-year-old former vice president, now the president-elect of the United States. Once again, CBS News projects that Joe Biden has won this year's presidential election. That is because CBS News now believes that Mr. Biden is the winner of the state of Pennsylvania, capturing its 20 electoral votes. That gives him 273 votes in the Electoral College, more than the 270 that he needs to be elected. Today, less than holding Savannah Guthrie in New York, the moment the entire country has been waiting for after a very close race. NBC News now projects that Joe Biden has won the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, and its 20 electoral votes. And that means we can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States. He is president-elect Joseph Robinette Biden at 77 years old. Uh, Chuck, we'll turn to you. This map is uh, is uh, a real interesting one, not necessarily the path that anyone thought would have unfolded, but here we are. This is an ABC News election update. Now reporting chief anchor George Stephanopoulos. Good morning. We have breaking news results from the state of Pennsylvania. Those results are in right now. And based on what we are seeing there, we can say that Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is on track to win the state of Pennsylvania, become the 46th president of the United States. Joe Biden will have at least 273 electoral votes. We're still waiting for results from the state of Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia as well, likely to increase his lead even more. But based on what we are seeing now, even though we are not projecting a winner, we can say that Joe Biden is on track to be the next president of the United States of America, the 46th president of the United States. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, who stated in this process, I will never give up fighting for you and our nation, will be denied a second term. That has not happened since 1992 and President George H.W. Bush. Keep in mind, the Trump campaign is in the midst of waging legal challenges in several states, but the path is clear for the new president-elect. This is a state that everybody was watching so close to see whether or not it would be called today. And this party was going on yesterday before the results were even called. People were starting to trickle in when the news came out. And let's just give you a sense of the celebration taking place. You can actually hear music in the background. The ironic thing is that that music is being played by a group of Trump supporters on the other side of the road. And I just want to talk to a couple of people here. Let's just join. Just tell me your name quickly and when did you hear the news? Nicole, I just heard it when we just came out of the Reading Terminal about when, when, whenever it was projected. Uh, as soon as we, my, my friend called me as soon as it uh, was declared a victory. And we, we were like a block away. We walked right back. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I, thought, I saw there were tears in your eyes earlier. Yes, unbelievably. I can't even express it because I'm just so excited. I'm so relieved. 
that we can all just relax now and not have to worry about a president who's going to take away everybody's rights. I, I agree. I feel great. Uh, it's almost as good as Eagles beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl, but it's it's close. But I feel great because, you know, it's proven that the American people have shown that democracy wins. Now, what I'd like them to win by more, obviously, would have been better. But, hey, I'll take a W any, t any day I can, and I'm really happy that the right man won, and he's going to care about the American citizens, all American citizens, and not just the ones who voted for him. Joe Biden has won the American presidential election. The BBC projects that he has reached 270 electoral college votes, meaning that he will become the president in January, pending the outcome of any legal challenges. The reason why we can say that Joe Biden has won the election is because we are projecting that he has won the key state of Pennsylvania, taking the 20 electoral votes from that state. This means that he has 273 electoral votes, taking him across the 270 mark. I've been waiting for reactions from Donald Trump's legal team. Many obstacles have come up. They have made baseless claims that uh, this election has been rigged. Absolutely, and that really has been the story up until now. But now the news is starting to break in uh, Philadelphia. People driving behind us, uh, beeping their horns, celebrating uh, this news that we're bringing to you on France 24. Our partners at AP calling it uh, Joe Biden has won this key battleground state, Pennsylvania. Joe Biden himself knew that this was going to be an important race for him. He campaigned heavily in the lead up to the election. Uh, both candidates poured a lot of money into advertising in Pennsylvania to try and clinch those 20 electoral college votes, those 20 electoral college votes that are now going to bring uh, Joe Biden to the White House. It really has been a nail-biting finish here in Pennsylvania uh, on election uh, night. Democratic candidate Joe Biden has won the U.S. presidential election after sealing victory in the battleground state of Pennsylvania. Major U.S. TV networks and the Associated Press have called the race in his favor. The 20 electoral votes Biden won in Pennsylvania have allowed him to surpass the 270 votes needed to win the election, according to projections by the Associated Press. He has received 284 electoral votes to Republican President Donald Trump's 214. Uh, this is looking to be a fairly comfortable victory for Joe Biden, despite the fact that uh, it's taken us almost four full days of counting to get there. It's not the landslide that some polls had been suggesting. It's not the sort of result that we saw in 2008 where Barack Obama beat uh, John McCain by, you know, more than seven percentage points. But it is uh, a comfortable, more than a four million and growing uh, vote lead in the popular vote. Welcome back. You're watching The Full View. On to some breaking news now. Some U.S. media projecting Joe Biden as a president-elect in the U.S. Show and Bryce Pease, Mike Connick, joins us uh, from New York. So, uh, Showen, I am just reading something from The New York Times saying that Joe Biden Jr. has been elected president of the United States. Uh, at 77, you mentioned this, this would make him the oldest president in the history of the United States. So is this the general consensus from the other media projections or are there those that are still holding out and calling it? Well, you mentioned the New York Times, CNN has confirmed, NBC has confirmed, and I think you're going to see a broader consensus emerge. Remember, Tipi, so we were on the cusp now for about 48 hours, right? I mean, we've been sitting here waiting uh, as the numbers have slowly moved in Biden's direction, consistently so, until he took the lead in Georgia, until he took eventually the lead in Pennsylvania. He has maintained a lead in Arizona, but forget about all the other states. It's Pennsylvania that has been called, and it is Pennsylvania that has put him over the 270 electoral college votes required to win the presidency. He has been sitting on 253. If you exclude Arizona, that was called by Fox News and the Associated Press on election night and early Wednesday morning. Uh, so if you take those 11 out, they matter not. <laughs>